y'all. Oh, uh, what's going on? It's me, Daria. Uh, um, uh, I'd, I'd go into like this long in depth like explanation of like what's going on in my life, but like if you're watching this, you already know what's going on in my life. Uh, and I appreciate you being here to watch this. Uh, I am trying to get caught up. I had like a backlog of draft league matches. I haven't been doing the weekly recaps. I just like, I kind of just had like an emotional breakdown and just needed to step away from content creation for a little while. Um, so I apologize y'all. Um, I know it kind of sucks, but like, I'm trying to get caught back up. Um, so yes, uh, the matches. I had a backlog of matches that I wanted to get posted. Uh, some of them I don't have live reactions to. Uh, in fact, two of the matches I don't have live reactions to were actually wins. So it's not like, oh, she didn't record it because she lost and she was like being like a salty bitch. Like, yeah, I am a salty bitch when I lose. <laughs> but uh, the two that I don't have footage for are actually wins. So uh, I wanted to rewatch this, kind of talk about what happens. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's basically what we're looking at here uh, in this match. I'm up against William. Uh, it's actually my boyfriend, Sergeant Mac, uh, and the Bettendorf Brawlers. Uh, this was coming towards the end of the regular season. Uh, all the matches kind of had playoff implications as far as seating and stuff like that goes. So like, I, I really needed this win to like have a decent seating. Um, so let's watch it together and let's talk about it. Uh, so right off the bat, I lead with uh, Torkoal uh against his radicate who he just picked up uh i went ahead and set up sun i'm actually gonna pause real quick and if you notice on my roster there's a frost last there the frost last i actually went out and picked up specifically for this matchup uh also looking at who i thought i was going to be face facing in the playoffs i thought frost last was going to be really useful in the playoffs as well so that was basically my thought process with going out and picking up frost last i did drop bronze on one of my only defensive mons so, uh, uh, a lot of people are like, that's questionable going into the playoffs, dropping one of your only defensive mods. But like, I just, I felt like, I felt like I just, I wanted to just go full into the hyper offense. So like, that's what Frost last is doing here. Anyways, he, uh, sets up manual of rain to get rid of my son. Very cool. Uh, I get my stealth rocks up because, you know, hazard chip looks really good against things like Haunch Crow uh could potentially break a sash on something like radicate even though he led with radicate um so like i thought the stealth rocks were going to be important uh i go ahead and pivot into hariyama here who eats a hype, uh, super fang i'm sorry um our flame orb pops revealing that we are in fact guts he clicks super fang again and we just go ahead and click knock off knock off the focus sash so we do see that radicate was in fact uh focus sash not that it matters because that's what he led with uh, Crunch is not quite able to finish off the Hariyama. Uh, and then I reveal here that it is actually Rest Talk, um, which is, you know, the first time I've ran Rest Talk. Actually, it's the first time I ever ran uh, Rest Talk uh, Guts Hariyama. And honestly, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Uh, then uh, roll a close combat, completely unnecessary, drops my defense actually. Would have much rather rolled a knockoff there, but does pick off the Eradicate. Uh, he goes into Mew on minus one special defense, so I want nothing to do with that. I go ahead, go into Latios. He sets up his hazards. Now we both have stealth rocks up. He pivots out into Slow King, uh, who is going to not take any damage, actually. I'm sorry, because this is uh, a bit of a support set from my Latios. So I go ahead and get some screens up. And he starts setting up Calm Minds. Now, this was actually a really scary position for me. Uh, I hurry up and go into Shift Tree. Um, you know, because he's boosting his special and I'm like trying to scare him a little bit. Maybe I could force him out. Maybe he's afraid of like a choice band leaf blade or something. You know, we don't know what his, what his, uh, investment is. Uh, but I go ahead and click sucker punch. He clicks flamethrower. It takes me out. Uh, but I get some huge, huge damage off on the slow king. And then I'm pretty sure I go into frost last here. Um, trying, trying to scare out the slow king. And that's exactly what happens. Uh, little did he know I was actually special and not physical. So, uh, he, his looking, actually, I'm pretty sure may have probably at plus two special defense lived a shadow ball there. Um, but he swaps out, which is great for me. Um, he tries to destiny bond, but I'm substitute. Uh, and then I just go ahead and finish off the Miss Magus. So I do reveal here that I'm substitute off Frostlass. 
And this Frost Slice actually does some really good work for me. I'll get some good damage off on the Mew. Uh, Mew goes ahead and clicks Volt Switch, but I have my screens up, so I, I eat the Volt Switch no problem. Uh, and now I get a chance to fire off another uh, Shadow Ball against the Slowking. Uh, Slowking eats it. You see 46% if he was plus two before. I think it's fair to reason that he probably lives uh, if he stays in the first time he's out. But at this point, you know, I have the leverage now. I go ahead and fire off another Shadow Ball. Um, he so shows Slack off here, which gets a little spooky. I'm a little scared because I'm like, oh god. Uh, he realizes now that I can't break this with this. Um, and he just keeps healing up, which is super, super frustrating for me to try and break through with this Frost Lab. Uh, but also worth pointing out, we have fired off how many Shadow Balls now? Let's pause it real quick. Uh, we have fired off seven Shadow Balls now. Uh, it is, I think it's 20% chance for a special defense drop. So we haven't seen any special defense drops yet, uh, which... You know, that's Pokemon. I wasn't super frustrated about it. Uh, but here I go ahead and substitute reveal my Pattaya Berry, which boosts your special attack when you're 25%. You know, it's Pinch Berry. Uh, so now I have a little extra oomph time behind my attacks, and I'm able to fire off this plus one Shadow Ball and get the crit. Uh, the crit did matter there. Uh, I would have felt bad for it, but I never got a special defense drop. And if I would have gotten one special defense drop out of the eight Shadow Balls that I clicked, then like that crit wouldn't I wouldn't have needed a crit at plus one. It would have just killed. Uh, he reveals there that Breloom is Choice Scarf, outspeeds, puts my Frost Slice to sleep. But like Stealth Rocks are up, so in my head I'm like, like I probably like if I swap out I lose my boosts, and like if I don't spin. Frost Lass can't come back out anyways. I do wake up from sleep after a couple, only two turns. I'm sorry, two turns of sleep. Uh, take out the Haunch Crow. Uh, and now I know this is Scarf, so I gotta switch out. So I go ahead, pivot into Sunkern, let Sunkern uh, eat this Rock Tomb. Poor Sunkern. Sunkern did come. This is, I think, the second week in a row that I brought Sunkern. Um, <laughs> I go into Rockly, who just, like, Rockly doesn't really care about a uh, Rock Tomb because it resists. And it's already slow anyway, so the speed drop doesn't really affect us in any way. So I go ahead and click uh, Sleep Talk here and we roll close combat which is enough thanks to the guts boost to take out the mew even though it is resisted uh now he goes back into breloom i pivot into sunkern to sack sunkern so i could go clean into frostlass so frostlass can pick up the final kill i know he's locked in a drain punch so frostlass is in no no danger here even though he outspeeds Frostlass picks up the last kill, and Frostlass's first match on my team is a good one, and picks up a uh, four-kill week against a good opponent. Uh, felt good to get a win against my boyfriend, uh, especially because he beat me earlier in the season. Uh, it was the Week 10 matchup, and the way our Week 10 matchups uh, work out in the MDDL is that it's basically like tournament style. It's based off your seeding, so if you're the one seed, you face whoever's 12th place. If you're two seed, you you face whoever's 11th, and then so on and so forth. The reason we do this is because it creates a little excitement towards the end of the season when there are people fighting for that last playoff spot because the sixth seed is going to be facing off against the seventh seed for that final spot. And it, there was a lot going on in the league that was really cool. Uh, when I I am going to eventually do like a recap of like the second half of the season since I didn't do any weekly recaps towards the end. I'm going to do one to just kind of cover it all. And I'll kind of go over some of the excitement then. But uh, got a really good win headed, heading into the playoffs uh, against William. And yeah, that's, uh, that's my Week 10 matchup, the last game of the regular season. All the games after this are um, playoff match. So uh, keep an eye out for those. I'm going to get those uploaded. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.